You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, the latest advancements in hair enhancement for women. With us, we have the founder of Roz International, Amnon. Amnon, welcome to the program. Thank you. Good to be here. Now, before we get into the specifics of this topic, uh, tell us about your company, about the kind of... Uh, the kind of people, the kind of women uh, that, that are coming in to see you? Who's the typical client? Mistakenly, people happen to believe that uh, that's an issue that only men uh, uh, experiencing, which is wrong. In fact, according to the American Hair Loss Association, there are more than 20 million women who are suffering from thinning hair and hair loss. I don't see it, though, very often. Uh, you know, women, like I've seen some of your photos with these women with very thin hair. So they're hiding it, they're you know, just not obviously, uh, wearing hats. You know, obviously women who are suffering from thinning hair would do anything they can in order to hide it. Either by visiting their hairdresser once a week just to bleach the hair or to dye the hair or to lift it, lift it up or to tease it up and so ever just to create the illusion of a thicker and fuller hair. That's an issue, and they're doing, sometimes they're just wearing hat, you know, to cover it. Okay. But there are many of them out there that, you know, just desperately trying to look for any kind of solution. Now we've talked, by the way, and, and this is not an endorsement for you, by the way, and people need to know these are real interviews, but you are convinced the way you're doing it for women is really the cutting edge, probably the most effective, most natural looking way available today. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay, good. Now, now let's talk about how you broke into this business. That means, what, uh, you know, 17 or 27 years ago, you started as an apprentice or something like that? I started as, a, as an actual client, actually. And I was looking from the first moment I started with it just to improve it and to improve the method that this Guy is it called the thread line method? That's the thread method? line method. The okay. whole idea is really to attach an additional human hair that matches the client's own hair in such a way that doesn't require any glue and any such a messy, you know, solutions. Just by using a special thin and strong thread to attach the additional hair to the client's own hair. It was a revolutionary, you know, solution back then. And I loved it. I loved the idea. It gives and it, it gives a lot of confidence to the clients. Uh, it's perfectly secured. And I mean, once it's there, the client feels but like. This is what I've been told. I mean, the, 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 the number one problem with women that don't want to do it is because of the shaving and because of the trimming. I mean, you still have to shave a little bit, right? Or, or, or Not at all. No. With so my, with yours, that's with how it's my solution, and that's the the biggest uh, difference between really? that separates me from others. I don't need to shave. I don't need to trim any of the hair. In fact, my goal is to combine the existing thinning hair along with the additional hair, and that's what makes it good. So that you know of really Not, nobody by, else by is doing way. that in San Diego. That you know of as far as I know as far as I know nobody else does it okay and that's that's the, the, the and you're a perfectionist they say or your wife said by the way I, you know in my is it, is it, you know with my profession I'm a perfect perfectionist absolutely because I mean, you I'm, don't allow anybody else to do it right no I'm when very centralist this. I'm very centralist I'm very involved and you know the most uh, you know serious and significant part of the procedure is done personally by me. Why? Because I want to make sure that everything is done, uh, you know, uh, uh, the right way, the best way to eventually achieve the best results. You don't have salespeople at your place. Either. I don't have any salespeople. Actually, I mean, you have a staff. You know, there are many women over there watching us now, uh, and some of them may call the number that's showing on the screen. They're going to talk to me. All right. This is my direct phone number and they're going to talk to me directly. But with women with, with, with thin hair, okay, they talk to you, what are they currently doing? You say 20 million women have this uh, female pattern baldness. W what methods are they doing now to cover it up? I mean, you hear all the stories. Obviously. You know, I see them in my office. They are looking for product first. You know, any shampoo, they have 
tons of bottles. So they've products. tried all those things, okay. They know all the brains. Every new product that coming out to the market. So they're experts they are on the thickening first to hair. Bite. And you know what, it's very simple. It says, well, this is going to regrow the hair you have lost. So let's try it. What can I lose? I mean, let's put a few hundred dollars on it. If it won't help, it won't hurt. So yes. only for their conscious, what's, it's not bad, let's buy. <laughs> and this is let's what they try tell for you. three, four months. That's what they And you know, it didn't work, it doesn't work. Okay. And then they're trying something else. And then they're checking with the dermatologist, whether it's a medical issue. And you know, in most cases, when we're talking about the female pattern baldness, that's not a medical issue. Nothing wrong with them, they're fine. They're simply losing hair due to the female pattern baldness. It happens. Okay. And as I said... But people don't know where to go. They don't know where to... It seems like a lot of confusion you know, in this many industry. Many of them, they know about wigs, but many of them don't even want to try wig because wig looks and feels like a wig in most cases. Good point. I would okay. say in most cases, not always, not necessarily always, but it looks like a wig. You have a lot of limitations with wig. You cannot swim with it. You cannot sleep with it. You know, you cannot, you know, wash it and brush it and style it the way you want. You, can, you cannot change styles. You know, wig comes in a certain style and design. That's okay? it. That's it. So the hair you, you choose design, a style. The, the hair you design is their own hairstyle. The hair that I design and uh, 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 that I'm adding actually behaves like a natural, real hair. So it's you human can, hair, though. Is it's that right? a human hair that matches the client's own hair with the same texture, length, and color, and type of hair. And, you know, we're going to choose the right density. That's a very important issue to make it, you know, look reasonable and fine and, 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 and delicate. You know, okay. not to create something weird and ridiculous. That's also not our goal. And, and then you can brush it backward today with a little bit of bangs, and then tomorrow you can brush it to the right. So you can take or a shower, you can shampoo your hair. You can take a shower, do the shampoo, use the conditioner after the shampoo, absorb the, 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 the wet with the towel, and then brush it. So it's not you a can use piece a, that goes on. Oh, no, no. You're it's weaving a, it into their own hair. It's a mixture. It's a additional hair that became to be one part with your own hair, mixed and combined with your own hair, such a way that you can brush it, wash it. You can use a hair blower if you like. You don't have to, but you can if you want. You can just let it dry naturally, and that's actually the thing that we are recommending. So th this method, and you, you developed it, improved it. You've been doing it 27 years, natural-looking hair. I've met some of your clients as well. But uh, what, what age ranges? You, you were saying, you know, young... You know, mostly we're talking about women over 40. But I have clients in my clinic on their 20s and 30s as Is well. it emotional? I mean, when they come in for the consult, can, can it get emotional? I can tell you one thing. Though? There are a lot of tears in my clinic. Really? During the consultation. You know, I've just uh, seen a woman on her 20s uh, that's suffering from hair loss. And she has already... So where do they lose it? I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay, so a young girl in the 20s, the top the of her head. The top of the head is, I mean, getting thin and thin okay. by the time. And, you know, they feel, I mean, it's So aging. she comes in and she's, uh, what? Uh, she, she comes, she's telling about what's going on with uh, on uh, her head. And uh, she's telling me about all the, um, you know, uh, obstacles and uh, trials that she has tried. Okay. Uh, which never, you know, helped in any way. And uh, she's desperately trying to regain the hair that she has lost. She doesn't want to look old. You know, thinning hair is aging. Yeah. Makes you look older. So backing up to the console for just a second. Okay, so a woman goes to you, she comes in with thinning hair. Do most of these people, they've done the research? That means they've called the places, they've tried wigs, they've tried every bottle of they stuff? Not this, I wouldn't say tried because they... But I mean the hair thinning In many cases, they stuff. don't even want to try. Oh, okay. A wig, for instance. You know, especially if, the, if you're talking about a young lady on her 20s or 30s or even 40s, she doesn't even want to deal with wig. But they've made some research already, so they're a little bit familiar with what's going on in the market, and they're coming to me sometimes a little bit skeptical, mm -hmm. I, I have to say. But when I'm starting the, the consultation, and you know, I'm mentioning every time, 
You know, I'm very accurate on my consultation. I'm very comprehensive. And my goal is to make the lady who's sitting in front of me very knowledgeable about every step of the procedure. So I'm giving it to them in a very clear way, along with pictures, and it's a very comprehensive comprehensive uh, consultation that makes them very knowledgeable about every step of the process. Once they realize, once they are fully um, uh, understanding what's going on, they love it. They say, let's do it. They love the Are they the surprised, concept. by the way, like, like I, th that there was no shaving or oh, no... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they just mention that they've heard about something else that required glue or shaving or things like that.